And on new this morning, a local church looks to continue growing their message of faith and charity. Valley International Christian Center will host a grand opening for their new 70,000 square foot church. They're inviting the public to attend. And this morning, Jaime Loya and Abram Gomez are here to discuss it. So good morning, gentlemen. Good, good morning. morning. Thanks so much for being with us. And tell us a little bit more about the efforts here. Uh, well, our church has been in existence for almost 20 years. Uh, we're in the city of San Benito and we are now celebrating a grand opening for our new facility there in the city. Mm -hmm. Why was it necessary to sort of renovate the building? Uh, well, we experienced a lot of growth for the past couple of years. We've been recognized as one of the 100 fastest growing churches in the nation. Wow. And so we were running multiple services out of a smaller building and, uh, and we just had the need for many years to expand our operation and our facility. And mm -hmm. finally, we were able, by God's grace, to get into our new church. And when exactly is this taking place, Abram? This weekend, uh, April 18th through 20th. Friday night, we'll begin our first service, 7 p.m. Then Saturday, we'll have uh, two services, 5 p.m. Uh, Spanish, and then 7 p.m. English. Then Sunday, three services as well, 9, 11, and 1. Everyone is welcome to attend, I'm assuming. Tell us more about the festivities and what exactly is taking place on those days. Well, we're gonna have a, a production, an Easter production uh, that we do every year, but this time it's gonna be highlighted because of the new facility. Mm -hmm. And then we're also gonna be having an Easter egg hunt for the children on Saturday, April 19th at 10 a.m. at the San Benito Boys and Girls Club, ages three to 10. And we're talking about 30,000 eggs that are gonna be given away wow. free to the community. Uh, yeah. Lots of fun with the family yeah. for mm -hmm. sure. And tell us more about the message that you spread there uh, in your facilities. Well, you know, we want to spread a message of hope, obviously, a message of love. And uh, we reach a lot of young families, a lot of young people. And uh, like I said, over the years, we've just seen it grow. We've just seen it grow tremendously, reaching a lot of children. We're very community-oriented. That's something mm -hmm. we've always done mm -hmm. as a church, always reached out to the community with services, uh, meeting needs, uh, giveaways, backpacks, school supplies, Easter egg hunts, things of that nature. And so... That really has been uh, one of the things that has just helped our church grow tremendously. Tell us the connection that Joe Alstein has here with you folks. Well, we're part of Joe Alstein's Champions Network, and it's really a network of churches that he has across the nation. We've participated in some of his events, which are nights of hope that he has across the nation. And, uh, you know, the plan is for him to later come during the year mm -hmm. and be part of our church there and hopefully speak to our congregation. And so, but yeah, we're good friends with their ministry uh, at Lakewood. And like I said, they've supported our church in many ways. They actually sent us a video mm -hmm. that we're gonna be rolling this Easter, oh. just congratulating uh, the congregation and all the folks at VICC and anyone who attends the church and uh, for our new facility. And for those who don't know who Joel Alstein is, he's like an iconic figure in the Christian community, am I correct? Yeah, pretty cool. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's probably the best known preacher in the world right now. Wow. And, uh, you know, is a famous author and has a highly rated uh, program on television and very well known and very liked. All right, gentlemen, mm -hmm. we'll stick around. We're going to continue this conversation in our next hour, so please stay with us. 